Hi, my name's Kirsten, and today I'm going to be showing you how to feed your python. In the wild, snakes eat a large variety of rodents, rabbits, other small snakes, lizards, frogs, birds and bird eggs. In captivity, we can feed them rats, mice, quail and rabbits, as these food sources are more easily accessible. So the first thing to remember when feeding your snake is you need to work out the size of the food item in comparison to the size of your snake. You have to remember also that snakes' jaws are held together by lots of ligaments and muscles, allowing them to eat prey items that are twice as big as their head. So today I have with me Charles, and Charles is a Darwin carpet that's roughly seven months of age, and we're going to be feeding him a wiener mouse. Feeding frozen food is much better for the snake as it is safer. Live prey items can fight back and potentially injure your snake. They also can introduce things like internal parasites and also things such as mites that can affect your snake. Snakes are slow healers, so a little scratch or bite from a rat can become a large infection. We have a range of frozen food, starting from sizes like your pinky mice all the way up to your large rabbits. It is important to remember also that depending on the size of your snake will also depend on how often you feed it. Hatchlings and juveniles will often eat every seven days, your sub-adults will eat every seven to ten days, and your adults will eat every ten to fourteen days. So here at Kellyville Pets, we feed our pythons thawed out frozen food. What you want to do is remove the item that you're going to be feeding to your snake. You then want to place it in a snap lock bag and submerge it in lukewarm water. This will help defrost the mice or rat over a period of time, depending on the size that you're feeding. Safely remove your snake from its enclosure with a snake hook and place them in the feeding tub. Feeding your snake in a feeding tub teaches your snake not to associate its enclosure with food. They will quickly associate the feeding tub with feeding time and will become enthusiastic for food when placed in the tub. So now that our wiener mouse has fully thawed, what we're going to do is using our feeder tongs Grab our mouse by the base of the tail. We need to make sure that the mouse is still nice and warm so that when we hold it in front of the snake, it will pick up that warmth using its sensor pits. We're going to be holding the mouse a few centimetres away from the head of the python and jiggle it slightly. So when you're holding the food item in front of the snake, you will notice that he will slightly move back into an S shape. This will allow him to strike forward at the food item and be able to wrap it up. Pythons don't have venom. So the way that they kill their prey is by constriction. You'll notice that your python will demonstrate this by wrapping his body around the prey item. What you then wanna do is close the lid of the enclosure that you're feeding him in and leave him alone for a good 15 to 20 minutes. This will allow the python some time on its own to fully get down the food item that it's eating. Without disturbing your python, it is important to keep checking on him to make sure that he is fully completing his meal. If your snake is not interested, you can reheat the food within 15 minutes in more warm water, but dispose of the food if your snake refuses it again. You cannot refreeze thawed out food items. If you find that your python consistently refuses food, it is always best to see a vet. While your snake is feeding and safely out of its enclosure, this is a great time to give your snake fresh clean water and to clean its tank. After feeding your snake, always ensure that using a reptile safe disinfectant, you clean all of the equipment. Always wash your hands after feeding or handling your snake. So now you know how to feed your python. If you do have any questions, feel free to come down and see us here at Kellyville Pets. We also sell short neck turtles, long neck turtles. We have lots of different creatures who can come into your home and definitely make fantastic pets. We also have some special reptiles here at Kellyville Pets that include things like your albino carpets and your albino blue tongues, as well as our translucent bearded dragons.